guys. I got a great idea. Let's go swimming. Oh, for sure, that. I love to swim. Who doesn't love to swim? Growing up as a little kid, that's all I wanted to do. That's what all my friends wanted to do. To swim. It's not that I can't swim, like, technique-wise. I can swim. It's just that every time I'm in water, I sink. I think I'm just... I think I'm just too dense. I don't know. I don't know. Adam, let's go. Hurry up. That's why we built boats. I don't know guys, I just I just can't swim. I don't know guys, it's just every time I swim, I don't know, I just I just sink. Adam, I don't know how to put this, but you're just too dense. Is that that joke? What should we do? Alright, so we're gonna be talking a little bit about Archimedes number. Now Archimedes number essentially describes the motion of fluid due to uh, differences in their densities. Now, here we're going to have the gravitational constant times the length of the body that we're talking about that's in the fluid, its length cubed, uh, times the density of the fluid uh, multiplied by the difference between the body's de uh, density and the fluid density divided by the viscosity squared of the fluid. Alright, so now when Archimedes number is greater than 1, you're going to have natural convection so that the substances move in the direction of their densities. Uh, in essence, uh, objects with greater densities tend towards the bottom and objects with uh, lighter densities tend towards the top. Now, when Archimedes number tends much less than 1 or is negative, uh, that you have forced convection, which essentially means the opposite. Uh, objects with greater density are going to essentially move to the top now. Now, uh, in our experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little altering of that. We're going to take two normal substances, and then we're going to change their densities by using this equation, uh, density equals the molar mass times pressure over the gas constant times temperature. And essentially, the way we're going to do that is by changing the temperature of our substance, we're going to alter their density. This principle can be illustrated in an experiment with two fluids when Archimedes number is much greater than one. One hour later.